for your morning rush. A burglary suspect in the hospital this morning. Police say he was shot by someone in the neighborhood he was trying to rob. Arlington police say they were called to Queensboro Drive around 5 o'clock last night. Officers say a man had broken into a home he was trying to leave with several things from inside when he was confronted by a neighbor who had been asked by the homeowner to check things out. While the neighbor shot the burglary suspect, no criminal charges have been filed. President Biden is renewing his push for new voting rights measures. He and Vice President Harris are in Georgia today, set to make the case for Democratic voting bills that expand voting options and implement sweeping federal changes to voting laws. Senate Democrats are preparing to vote on both as soon as this week. ABC News will carry President Biden's speech at 2.30 this afternoon live. You can watch it right here on WFAA. And Governor Abbott is in North Texas today. He is scheduled to speak at the Denton County Mayor's Crime Prevention Luncheon in Corinth. Over the weekend, he officially announced his re-election campaign. The primary election is on March the 1st. And we now know the cause of the late great Betty White's death. Los Angeles County officials say that the beloved actress suffered a stroke. She died six days later in her home on New Year's Eve. White was 99 years old. A national movie event that was actually scheduled before she died will still happen as planned. That's on January 17th and it would have been her 100th birthday. And that is your Morning Rush.